Hi, and welcome back to The Progress Report. Today we have Mark Harris, filmmaker. So Mark, how you doing? I'm great, how you doing? Um, okay, so when did you, when did your love for filmmaking start? Or when did you first start to notice it? Uh, the, actually, as a matter of fact, the first day, like I, uh, I got on the movie set, um, I never had, I, I never knew that I wanted to make films. I was just kind of forced into directing. I knew I wanted to, I, actually I didn't know I wanted to even write movies. Uh, in high school, I had always had a love for writing, which is, I wrote poetry, and I went off to school, in college, and I was writing poetry and things like that. It was only when I came home in around 1997 is why I just told myself, you know, I, I want to give this screenwriting thing a shot. So I just started writing screenplays in about 2005 is when I said, you know what, I'm just go out and try to get my, uh, uh, my movies made myself. And that's when I, when I got on the set the first day is when I realized I, I love this. This is, this, is, this is what I wanted to do. Okay, so also what was the first film you directed? The first film I directed was a film called Why Do Men Cheat? And we did, we did that in, in 2005, and that was the first film that, uh, that I directed. And um, it, was a, it, was, it was basically about a guy who, uh, who couldn't stop cheating on his wife. We shot the film, you know, and I went to Virginia where we, we did uh, the editing of it, and I came back to Chicago. And the screen, a screen, actually it was my first project, and it screened at the Hollywood Black Film Festival. Let me tell you the story about, with that. See, I never ever, that was the first time I ever been on a movie set. And so when I was shooting that film, we shot, I shot everything in wide. <laughs> I had no, no video shot, no close-ups, no coverage at all, just everything wide. And uh, so we went to um, uh, this, this, this brother named, who's my mentor named Martin, who is my mentor, his name Martin Jones. And he was over uh, New Millennium Studios, which is Tim Reed's company which was one of the first black uh, studios, uh, in a, in a period. Mm -hmm. And so, so when we sat down, we started editing, and we put the footage in, we downloaded all the footage, and Martin was like, hey Mark, what's the rest of the, uh, the uh, that, that time we weren't shooting on cards, we were shooting on uh, the, the tape. Okay. He said, well, what the rest of the tape? I said, that's it. So he started going through, he said, man, you shot everything wide shot. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a great experience for me, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so we made it happen and um, I still with that movie, you know, I went out, sold DVD copies and, you know, and but I always, you know, I, I learned, I, you know, I learned as, as I went along and I'm still learning, yeah. still learning mm -hmm. process, yeah. What do you love about filmmaking? Like what, what about filmmaking just draws you in and you just can't like get out of it, you know? Uh, the thing that, what, what I love about filmmaking is the, is the entire process, meaning that raising the funds, and it, sometimes, you know, the entire process is difficult, but it's beautiful at the end when you, you know, when you're in the audience and mm -hmm. you're seeing the, the finished product mm -hmm. on the screen. Mm -hmm. But um, raising the funds, uh, directing, I mean, the whole part, the whole aspect of filmmaking to me is, I, I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. How do you come up from what, like the concept of what you want a film to be about? Well, the con I normally get a concept or the idea of what I want a film, a film to be about. It could be from a song, it could be from experience, uh, it could be from my own life experiences or somebody else's uh, uh, life experience. So, give you an example, with the movie Black Coffee, uh, we know that if you look at the black community, the people who, who, who we buy from, are not they don't look like us. We know that uh, black people, we don't, uh, we don't uh, control the economics of our community. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to do with the movie Black Coffee is I wanted to, to reconnect the relationship between the, the black male and the, and the black woman. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to deal with the economics within our community. Just say, you know, look, we have to control the economics that's within our community, but we wanted to tell that story through a romantic comedy, which, you know, most of our people watch. Who would you say is your favorite director? My favorite director of all time? Yes. My, I, I, I would have to say my favorite director would have to be Charles Burnett. Okay. Uh, um, to, uh, you know, uh, he, a lot of people don't know Charles Burnett. Mm -hmm. um, he did a film called To Sleep With Anger mm -hmm. uh, with um, Danny Glover. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, um, but he, he, he's one of those filmmakers that, you know, he never compromised. Mm -hmm in order to, he never compromised. You know, he, he was always 
Um, he he's been around for he's been around since the the the, the, the late seventies, mm -hmm. and he still he still makes movies. You mm -hmm. know, he does a lot of television. But you know, and if he if he wanted to, he could have done it theatrical as well. You know, he's done some theatrical things. You know, mm -hmm. um, but he never compromised or, or compromised in his integrity in order to make films. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's one of the reasons why I love him so much. Mm -hmm. I met him too when I was at I was at the Pan African Film Festival, mm -hmm. and I met him and Judy Dash. Okay. <laughs> you know, so together they were together. So that was a great experience. You know, mm -hmm. so I would have to say my all time would be definitely Charles Burnett. And I heard you mention the Pan African Film Festival. Mm -hmm. So I know you have two, two. Um, you got to film the Thanksgiving film, and you have Black Privilege sh mm -hmm. showing. So talk about, can you talk about what that means to you to have those two films in the fest? Well, it means a lot. Uh -huh. I mean, here's, here's why I'm saying that because it's screening at the Pan African Film Festival, mm -hmm. and as Black people, mm -hmm. I mean, let me just say this: as Black people. I'm very excited. You know, whenever I'm screening at the Pan African Film Festival, I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, because of our own self hatred, mm -hmm. uh, that we tend to put other film festivals. And I'm not. This is not a knock against Sundance, Tribeca, mm -hmm. or the Toronto Film Festival. It's definitely not a knock against right. them because they don't have anything to do with how Black people feel about ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know. But sometimes what happens is that we tend to put those film festivals above our own film festivals. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same thing with, with, the, with, the, uh, uh, with the Oscars or, or the Golden Globe. Yeah. Uh, uh, Globe, what is Golden Gold Globes? Globes? Yeah. You know, the same thing with that, is mm -hmm. that, you know, we tend to put those award shows above our own award shows, mm -hmm. you know? And so when a black person wins an Oscar, or a black person is nominated for an Oscar, mm -hmm. we act like it's the, you know, it's, it's, the, the, it's the, coming yeah. of, the second coming of Jesus, right, you know right. what I'm saying? So, but we should behave that same. We, we shouldn't even behave that way when black people win those type of awards. Right. We should be happy for them because mm -hmm. we want to see black people successful, mm -hmm. without a doubt. Right. But we should be more excited when black people are in the Pan African Film Festival, in the Hollywood Black Film Festival, in the um, in the uh, American Black Film Festival. Mm -hmm. We should be excited when we are being uh, we are being um, uh, appreciated by our own. Right. But sometimes we don't we don't feel that way mm -hmm. you know we tend to want that appreciation mm -hmm. uh, from these uh, mainstream film festivals yeah. in which we don't have I mean, people know that's that's another thing and not to get on the soapbox but that's you know in order for people to truly respect us we have mm -hmm. to we have to really respect ourselves yeah. and it's just not on a level of you see the game bangers shooting each other the so-called game bangers shooting each other on the street or mm -hmm. Or you see somebody doing something ignorant on music on music it's, it's, you know we talking about the the elite of the elite in our community. You talk about black people you see on television and in movies and songs every single day who express self-hatred when we mm -hmm. tend to put other film festivals and we tend to put other uh, um, uh, mainstream award shows above our own. Right. And that's a, that's a sickness that we have to deal with and that they don't have anything to do with this. Mm -hmm. It's a sickness exactly. that we have to deal with. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very excited mm -hmm. to screen my, my films at the Pan African Film Festival. I think you might have. I don't. I don't know if this is for sure. But you might have touched on it, but like, what is like one thing in the world that you would like to change? And if like when you when you think about that, how does film help you change that one thing? Okay, what is one thing in the world that I would like to change, and how can film allow uh, allow me to help to change that? Yeah. The one thing I would like to change in in is, is in, in, in particular. Mm -hmm. Uh, again, is make the black community in America, yeah. in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a deep, deep, deep love for Africa. Mm -hmm. um, I have never been, but my mission is to go. My, you know, I'm planning to go this year. Yeah. Uh, is to make uh, our our community, our people, mm -hmm. love each other, mm -hmm. uh, live among each other, mm -hmm. so we can, so our children can go out and play. Mm -hmm. Uh, to make our communities a safe and a decent place for us to live. Mm -hmm. That's my, that's the overall objective. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we can do that by, you know, entertainment is very powerful. Right. So when, when the reason I'm saying entertainment is powerful, if we study China, China was in a, in a, in a really terrible condition when, when the British was ruling and the British left, they kicked the British out. Yeah. So one of the ways that they start to change the, the whole 
image of the Chinese people is that the, the emperor at that time, he summoned the, the artists. Yeah. And he told the artists, he said, you know, we're going to stop when we do our plays and do our music. Mm -hmm. Everything is going to reflect a positive image of the Chinese people. Mm -hmm. And so that's how they start to use, they start to use art in order to change the images of the Chinese people. Yeah. And look at China today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So as black people, you know, and that's my mission. My mission is to change the image of black people. Right. And by, you know, and we, we can do it through entertainment, you know, and uh, there's nothing more powerful than entertainment, mm -hmm. nothing. You can, you can get uh, any pastor, you can get any political figure, you can get anybody, just call it, there's nobody is, is reaching the young people mm -hmm. like music. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves music. Right. You know, everybody loves a movie. So right. no matter what kind of movies they are, people love entertainment, mm -hmm. period. And that's how we can reach people through entertainment. Wow. And that's what my objective is to... Uh, make our communities a, a safe uh, and decent place to live in, in America and also in Africa and throughout the world, mm -hmm. you know, through entertainment. Mm -hmm. And then self-love, you talked about self-love. Self-love, yeah. The importance of self-love. Mm -hmm. What is like the major thing you realize with self-love, like what? Uh, well, when you when you have a love for self, right? So the, it, 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 you're not, there are certain things that you're not gonna do. Mm -hmm. That's like really a checkmate, mm -hmm. you know, because you're not going to uh, put your people in, 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 as a filmmaker, right? You're just not going to just take, you know, just um, put your people in, in, in any kind of roles just to make a dollar. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or just to become famous. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to be conscious as far as how you're going to portray your people. Right. Because you, that's the love that you have for your people. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, uh, so that's for me, that, that's what self-love is. You know, it's just a matter of, uh, I mean, as a filmmaker. Right. You know, and then, you know, then that self-love is like, like even walking through our community, right? Mm -hmm. You have, another thing too is that as, as artists, right, we always, we always are uh, going to have people who are going to, who are going to attack us and, yeah. attack, you know, you see, self-love allows you to just look over that because yeah. we know that it's not, it's not personal. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know I love myself and I love you. No mm -hmm. matter what you think about me, mm -hmm. I love you as my brother or as my sister. You can just talk how you want because people right. talk, right. you know, and I, and I never, I never respond. Right. I never respond. Wow. Just just keep going mm -hmm. because I you know, know my brothers or my sisters and I love them, yeah. you know? That's yeah. True. Yeah. Anything, any final thing you want to um, promote or just let people know about that you got coming up um, that you want them to look out for? Well, thank. I, I want, first of all, I want to thank you all. Oh, no <laughs> thank, you. thank you all. Thank you so much for, for, for allowing us to ask you questions and interview you. Thank you. I appreciate it, but thank you guys. But no, well, we just have uh, the black privilege and nothing like Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and uh, which is going to be at the Pan African Film Festival. And hopefully, we're going to bring nothing like Thanksgiving here to Chicago soon. Mm -hmm. So be on the lookout. Okay. So yeah, all right. it's, it's all. I'm sorry. It's also going to be in Gary, Indiana, oh. and the I think. The uh, around the February of sixteenth or something like that. Okay, and yeah, Gary and, and Gary okay. is on the screen. Um, what are your social media handles so people could follow you and look out for those things? It's fifteen fifty five Filmworks. One five 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 Filmworks. Okay. Uh -huh. on, on Instagram, on everything, Instagram, Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, thank, thank you so thank much, you. Mark. <laughs>